Hey guys, it's Sabella. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be my skincare routine. I did a poll on my Instagram and my skincare routine won for this week's video, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Isabella. Welcome. I really hope you guys like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more content from me. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below right here if you're new. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications by clicking the bell icon down below next to the subscribe button. That way you are notified and you never miss another upload from me. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I just wanted to say I did wash my face already, but I haven't applied any like moisturizer or my medication for my face. Uh, I have, right now it doesn't look like I have much, but I have like a pimple right here and a few right here and a few right here. There's little red spots. Um, my face looks a lot clearer than it used to look. started going to a dermatologist in, I think, March because I've been suffering with a lot of like blemishes right here for a really long time. And so I got on some medication. I just started a new antibiotic for my face that I was supposed to have already been using. For some reason, my pharmacy never um, filled the prescription for some reason. So I'm just now starting on that. Okay, so I'm wearing my cute little headband that I got at Ulta. I wear this to wash my face and stuff like that. I'm sorry if like you see, I don't think you're gonna be able to see my, um, my TV's passing out. But I wanted to share, I have all the products I use. Um, so I wash my face twice a day and um, morning and night. So like I was saying, I wash my face twice a day and um, what I use to wash it is the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser for face and body. Um, all of these products my dermatologist recommended to me, so I'm glad that they were all, you know, drugstore stuff. And I have used Cetaphil before. I used it before, and I what I was using in this cleanser before, but I don't know. Actually, don't know why I stopped using it. But I highly recommend this. I have really dry skin, dry, sensitive skin, so this works for me. That's why I use a gentle one. And then I wash my face with that twice a day, and in the morning after I wash my face, I've been applying this, um, what is it, antibiotic. It's clin, clindamycin, and it looks like this, um, and I need to apply this now. So where I would apply it, let me bring my, my mirror. I would apply it, or I need to apply a pea size amount to my finger. And I just apply it where I have any blemishes or anything that needs that I don't want to be there. So I have some right here and then you're just going to blend it out. There and then normally, oops, normally I let this dry because I've noticed that the moisturizer that I use for my face in the morning doesn't blend with this really well if it's still drying on my face but I will go ahead and show you the rest of my skincare so then after yes after I put that clindamycin on my face then I use after maybe like 40 minutes I use a CeraVe AM facial Mo moisturizing lotion with broad spectrum of SPF 30 and this is how that looks like I've always known that you need to have like um, sunscreen in your like foundation or whatever or like in your lotion at least but I hadn't really like I had foundations that had it so I never really used this but I like this a lot so it helps me like not get burned because I went swimming with the girl I need a few weeks like maybe like not last week but the week before that and um, I wasn't worried about burning my face because I already had this on I was just worried about burning my body speaking of which I bought this but that was not the point Stick. Take care of your skin, guys, and put on sunscreen. And when I come home at night, I'll just show you the products. So when I get home, I, again, use this cleanser to wash my face again. And I use this headband. And then I started using Tretinone, Tretinoin, Tretinoin, I don't know. Um, but I started using it in the 0 0.05 amount, which is this one. And then, um... My doctor said in order to get rid of them, like the blemishes faster, we were gonna switch to the 0.1%. And so this is that one. And this is the one I'm using now. I mean, I've been using the same amounts, but sometimes my skin gets really dry. So she said that, well, my skin gets dry because this kind of dries it out and like dries the pimples out and stuff. So she told me that if my skin starts burning, 
which sometimes it does happen when your skin's getting used to like medication. Um, to use this one first and then switch off with this one every day. So like one day this one, one day this one. I just want to clarify that this is just what I do and what my doctor told me to do. And so I'm not a professional, I'm just following what my doctor told me. So please keep that in mind. And then after I put this on my face, whichever one I'm using, I, again, a pea-sized amount on my finger and I just dab it and then rub it in. Then, after that, I use this really thick lotion or like cream. And this is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. It's thicker than a lotion. This is good because I actually need the extra moisture at night and throughout the day. Sometimes I do use this in the day if my skin is somehow super dry when I wake up in the morning. Normally it's oily because it soaks up all this. That's basically it. And I also drink a lot of water. Like I literally, I only drink water. Right now I'm drinking coffee and water, but I needed coffee to stay awake for my appointment and I actually had energy to film early this week. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up for me and leave a comment down below letting me know any other video requests you might want to see. I have a really exciting video for next week, so stay tuned for that. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!